During their meeting on April 14th, the Murdoch City Council and their lawyer, Don Wilcox, concluded that the Asatru Folk Assembly, a white supremacist organization, has not been in violation of their conditional use permit. The conditional use permit states that the AFA must create off-street parking, any exterior lighting must be downcast and shielded, screening, which could take the form of a fence or hedge on their northern and western boundaries, must be installed, Signage must comply to city code, and outdoor services are limited to daylight hours. All of this was to be completed before the group held any religious gatherings. This permit was granted to the AFA on December 9th of 2020. On March 27th, the AFA held a dedication ceremony at their Midwestern Hof, or Religious Center, located on Highway 12 in Paulina Street in Murdoch. This Hof, called Baldur's Hof, is dedicated to their god Baldur and is the third AFA Hof in the nation. A photo collage of the dedication ceremony was posted to the group's YouTube page. The organization has been banned from Facebook. In the video and during a visit to the Murdoch Hof, it's clear to see that the group hadn't completed the parking and screening requirements. This led citizens to believe that the AFA had violated the conditions of their permit. The city was not aware from our building inspector that we had an, that, we, that was a temporary permit was given to the AFA. A letter written by the city inspector to Brandy Callahan, who was ordained an AFA religious leader at the March 27th dedication, says that the renovation on the inside of the building had met the city's building code. It also said that the conditions of the permit that require outdoor work, the parking lot and screening, can be completed by June 1st. The letter also stated that the building may be used temporarily for its intended use with no further work required at this time. After Mayor Kavanaugh spoke, Don Wilcox, the city of Murdoch's lawyer, said that the building inspector initially inspected the property in January and gave the AFA a list of things to improve. On February 22nd, the inspector went back and determined that the AFA was in compliance. Except those things in the outside that couldn't be done because of weather. So, as you just heard, a temporary permit was issued by the building inspector which certified that they were in compliance. That being the case, they were, they were uh, allowed to hold a religious ceremony. The city stated that they were unaware that the letter had been issued to the AFA and they also initially believed the AFA was in violation of their conditional use permit. Additionally, Jason Plored, an AFA Gothi or priest, filed a harassment restraining order against a Murdoch Area Alliance Against Hate founder, Victoria Guillemard, because he believed he was a target of harassment by the group. The order was denied. Plord contested the denial, which resulted in a virtual hearing on April 21st. Court documents said that Guillemard contacted two organizations that Plord was involved with, Anytime Fitness and the Wilmer Chamber of Commerce, notifying them of Plord's affiliation with the AFA. On April 29th, the order was again denied by Candio High County District Judge Stephanie Beckman. Court documents state that the court is deaf to the political or moral ideology of the AFA and that Plord's recruitment efforts for white supremacy for Plord and his group are of public concern. The court found contacting organizations over matters of public concern was within Guillemard's protected free speech rights as she didn't target Plord but the views of his organization.